Hi, this video is on how to create a page. A page is static and it will appear on your website in the menu bar at the top. So for example, in this theme, the tabs at the top here are pages. So let's say we want to add a new page. So log into your dashboard under pages. You can click on add new and this is the add page page. So at the very top you're going to want a title for your page. Keep in mind that the title is what's going to appear on these tabs at the top. So we want to keep it short and simple. So let's say we wanted to do a contact page just as an example. You can say contact and we'll put that in for the body of the page and the rest of the stuff we can just leave for now and click on publish to publish the page okay it says page published so let's go to our website let's refresh and there you go it added a new contact page when we click on it we get the page with contact and it says this is our contact information just just like we wrote here in the body so there are a lot of other great features that you can utilize when you create pages um, first of all you want to pay attention to these two tabs here one is visual and one is HTML if you know HTML and you're a programmer then you could use this tab but on the whole it's just easier to use the visual tab because you can see what's going on so there are a few things you can do that's really cool you can do basic changes to the text for example you could make this you could highlight this and then you can make it bold italic strike through you can add bulleted lists or numbered lists pretty much most of the basic functions of any word processor like Microsoft Word if you don't see a second row of buttons here you can click on this last button show hide the kitchen sink and I'll show you a whole nother row of options and in, in this row you can change the the text classification you can underline justify um, select the text color stuff like that so those are things you can play with but they're pretty basic and just like any other word processor a couple of other things that you may want to look at up here are the upload and insert buttons so this first one's add an image this one's add video this one's add audio and this one is add media so the two that are of particular interest I think are add an image and add media so let's take add an image this is something that I think most people will be using so let's click on that and you'll come to the upload screen here so you want to click on select files and it will give you a selection box where you can choose your file so let's just choose some picture that we have so let's say we want to insert this book here so WordPress will do its thing and you'll get some options on uploading this picture so this may look a little confusing but let's just take them one by one so the title of the book really doesn't matter too much um, it would benefit you to make it as descriptive as possible because that way Google could find you easier don't worry about that too much though for now just let's just call it book the next field is alternate text alternate text is the little pop-up box that somebody's gonna get when they put their mouse over the picture you can add that or not it doesn't matter either way the next box is caption and if you want to add a caption to the picture then you can do that there for example let's just say this is a book okay nothing fancy um, description you don't really need a description link URL if you want the person to be able to click on that link and get a full-size picture then you can leave that in if not you can just leave it out I'm gonna leave it out and click none then the alignment here is pretty important if you want it aligned left so that your text wraps around the picture then you can click on left if you select center it'll just be in the center and the text won't wrap around it it'll just be above and below it and right is similar to left where the picture will be on the right and your text will be on the left and it will wrap around the picture so for an example let's just choose left and then the final option is picture size so you want to be sure that it fits in your page so in this case it usually chooses the best size for you and in this case it's medium so let's just leave it at medium 
click on insert into post and there you go so we can put some more text in here so you can see how the wrapping works and then let's click on update so we can see what happened okay let's go back to our page on our website click refresh and there you go so it's nicely formatted and WordPress does that for you automatically and as you can see when you put your mouse over it it either gives you the title or the alternate text so let's say we want to add a PDF file to this page so we put our cursor where we want the link and let's use this last link here add media so same thing let's click on select files and it'll give you a list of files that you can select from so let's add this file here that's an Excel file so it's going to do its thing and this would work with a PDF file a, a doc file whatever you want to whatever file you want to upload so it's going to give you a list of options again in the first field under title that's going to be the text that's actually on the page so we'll leave that for now um, you don't need a caption you don't need a description and we're going to leave the link URL in there because that's how it's going to automatically link to that file so we can just click on insert into post as you can see that link came up so let's update that click on update okay so it says page updated so let's go back to our page refresh and there's the link so when we click on the link it'll ask to download that Excel file now just a couple more small points about pictures you can also click and drag this lower right corner and make this screen a little bigger when you're in visual mode so if we click on the picture we have a couple of options if you click on this icon here edit image it'll bring back the editing options so we can cancel out of there the other icon here is to delete the uh, picture if you want to delete it completely you can click on that icon and as you can see there are also handles here so you can resize the picture if you want to so if we want to make it a little bit bigger we could do that and we could update it okay so page updated so let's refresh this and we got a bigger picture so that's all there is to it it's pretty simple um, those are the basic functions that you're going to need if you want to learn how to do more advanced page editing options stick around for the next videos